Okoye Sports here, where we prove it with the film and not with our words. Not just words, anyway. Uh, this film's about Byron Jones, and let's face it, he's a horrible safety. Maybe one of the worst in the league right now when it comes to playing in space, playing in the box. Um, even in zone, he's not very good. Uh, but in man coverage, he is an animal. Because of his athleticism, his ability to accelerate and recover, uh, and jump with the man is just ridiculous. He finds the ball pretty well as well, and he's he's very conservative, so he's disciplined because he doesn't make aggressive uh, plays and he mitigates his risk as a result. But as you can see, um, I, I believe that you know hopefully uh, Chris Richard can fix this uh, by using him in his proper position, which is you know straight up honestly, I think he's our our number one, our number two corner. Um, and I think we use Jordan Lewis either in a slot or as our number two and uh, Chidobe uh, as well. But I think with those three out there in our nickel packages, we're we're solid at corner. And, and that leaves, you know, Skandrick odd man out. But uh, what I see on film just shows that Byron should be on the field more, but he should also be at corner. Uh, not in space. If that means Skandrick has to take a seat and uh, Anthony Brown as well, then so be it. But as you can see, uh, the film definitely, definitely doesn't lie. And he's very rarely out of position when it comes to man coverage. Um, you'll see here against Ertz. Ertz is a beast, but Byron definitely held his own. He, he rode his hip up the field, you know, checks him, knocks the ball out, you know, and, and, and makes the play. And that's that's what we want. What he doesn't do, however, and what you'll see later on in the film that Sherman definitely does is turn and look for the ball with both hands. He he likes to put one hand on the receiver usually and locate him and secure him and then he'll, you know, go ahead and make a play on the ball. Here you see him in off man coverage. You know, he locates the Ertz and, 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 and then drives and makes a play. He takes away uh Wentz's first option and, and most quarterbacks first option, especially if that first option is their, you know, security blanket, which is usually the tight end. He takes it away. And you see Ertz here look for Ertz. I mean Wentz here look for Ertz. Can't get anywhere with him. He has to make another play. Same thing here. He hand checks Ertz all the way up the field. Maybe a little defensive holding, but who cares? They didn't call it. And he has to go to a second option, which was Alshon on that play. Uh, you'll see it here again. He can't get the ball to Ertz. He's looking that way. This is man coverage, so he's not trying to look off of safety here. He's definitely looking that way to go to Ertz underneath, and he can't get to him. But this play here, the, the play against Ajahi, where he runs for 71 yards, it proves my point. You see how he comes up in the box? He, he really is very, very pussyfooted in the box. Can't really do much. But uh, his explosiveness also shows. So it shows that he's not a safety, definitely. He's not a box safety at all. But he does have the speed and explosiveness to run with the best of them. So I think that uh, his strength and speed and his freakish athleticism will be a great uh, use of great use outside at corner. I think he's an outside cover corner. I wouldn't even say slot unless the slot being against a tight end or against some of the shiftier guys. If he can get down on the line and put his hands on you, um, because he has so much experience surviving punches from these big tight ends for the last three years, I think that actually helps him um, because, you know, he's, he's, he's used to getting hit by bigger guys and these receivers can't deliver a punch. No receiver can deliver a punch like these tight ends. So if he's, if he starts to cover receivers and he's, he's physical with them with, with his, uh, his, his hands, cause he's very, very strong. He doesn't have much weight to him. So he doesn't pop anyone but he's very strong and I'll show you that when you'll see a lot of these uh the highlights that I'll show you you'll see him you know recovering from a punch here's a uh an example of Richard Sherman um actually doing the same thing you know hand checking down the field jamming um Brit and then playing over top but you'll see that he goes for the ball aggressively with two hands doesn't really make a play there but he goes for the ball aggressively with two hands um, this is a third down play against Arizona in 2017, and Byron was able to drive down, locate Fitzgerald, make a play, and stop him short of the of the of the uh, of the first down marker, which was exceptional coverage. Um, that's all you can ask for. Here's another example of uh, Sherman, and, and and Sherman's very similar, but again, he he's very aggressive when the ball's in the air. Uh, that's what we want to see Jones do a little bit more of, and I think he'll make a lot more plays, a lot more jarring hits, and definitely a lot more interceptions. But his coverage itself, we can't really ask for much more. He needs more experience, 
But there you go. There's a punch there. You see that the Gresham punches and he survives it, plays on his hip still, hangs on, makes a play. It pisses Gresham off, but naturally it would, you know, but but he can't get any separation. And the separation that you gain is, is short lived. You'll see it here against Cooks. I think this is last year in the playoffs. And you'll see it once again. Like he he survives the punch. There's the punch. Boom. Maintains his leverage. Recovers. Makes a play. I mean, what else can you ask for in the goal? Blanketed Cook here. You know, rolled his inside hip like you're supposed to in man. With no help over the top. Comes underneath. Makes a play on the ball. Ertz, this is a difficult route. This is a rub post route. And if you know what a rub is, just when, you know, you're 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 in a bunch formation and your tight ends or receivers like to hit the DBs inadvertently. Of course, they're doing it on purpose, but inadvertently to try to create separation. And it doesn't work. It doesn't work here. He's going up against some of the most elite uh, athletic receiving tight ends there are. And he does. He does it and makes it look very easy. And I'll show you other examples of other defensive backs later on to show you how difficult these t style coverages actually are for safety and or corner. It doesn't really matter. Corners are too small. Uh, linebackers are too slow. And safeties just don't have the same coverage ability as a corner. Uh, Byron actually has a little bit of all three. He's very strong. So he has the strength. I wouldn't say the strength of a linebacker, but he can definitely take on a tight end without a problem. Um, he has the speed of a corner and, and has the coverage ability of a corner, but the size of a safety. That's what you want. That's what you want. And you'll see here Vernon Davis is killing Desmond King. That's an example of of what happens when a corner and or safety is up against some of these elite tight ends. Vernon can just, you know, jump with the best of them. But in this next play, in this next clip against uh, – oh, well, this is actually another clip of Vernon. I'm sorry. This is just to show you what happens to linebackers. Uh, they're strong enough, again, to jam, but they just don't have the coverage ability or the speed usually. Uh, you have some freaks like Cookley or Keekley. Um, that can do it um, and, his, and his counterparts as well Thomas Davis those guys can cover um, you know but most linebackers really can't stick with these uh, these tight ends and our receivers but look at Jones he delivers a punch against Vernon Davis who's very strong and then he also shows his athleticism and his ball tracking skills here look at how high he gets and he knocks that ball away no problem look at this boom you know freeze frame that and you just see they're both elevated they're both high as hell off the ground and, and he just makes a play that that really you know could have been a big play and here's Sherman doing something very similar and this is why I make this comparison and also for the fact that he's a long guy like Sherman he's a strong press cover corner like Sherman and he's, he's actually going to be coached by Chris Richard those three elements is why I, I make that comparison and I hope to see Byron used in this way if you know we, we as the Cowboys uh, stop mismanaging talent um, you, you'll see there against Randall Cobb. Randall Cobb's a shifty guy, and he, he shows excellent recovery speed against Cobb and excellent placement, excellent, excellent positioning, and, 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 and just locates the ball and makes a hell of a play against Aaron Rodgers. Uh, this is him against A.J. Green. He's in space here, locates Green first, so he locates him, okay, secu locates the ball, makes a play. What else can you ask for? What else can you ask for? And this is not the play uh, that, that you usually see from a safety. Usually you'll see a safety try to dislodge that ball and, and, and probably draw a penalty there because they're not pretty they're not really good when it comes to playing the man, especially when the ball's in the air, they get too jittery. He's very disciplined because he's so conservative and he trusts his athleticism. Um a lot of players just can't do that. Um and, and that's Dion esque. Um, and I'd say he's more athletic than Sherman as well. But uh, that's Dion esque and when I say Dion esque, Dion used to let players go by him just so he can chase him down and try to make a play on the ball because he was so good at covering people. He had to make you think you were open or make the quarterback think you were open. Uh, and, and Byron does something very similar when it comes to tight ends anyway. I haven't seen him do it much, but he did it there with Cobb. He did it here with Olsen. Uh, he'll, he'll trail you. But this is what Olsen can do against your average DB. And these aren't like bums. Obviously, they're all in the NFL, but these aren't bum defensive backs. But this just shows you how easy it can look. Look at that deer in the headlights coverage. Uh, and he's wide open. It's over. There's nothing you can do about that. Byron's never in this position. I've, I've looked through the film, three years worth of film. He hasn't been in position to, to be out of position in any of them. Look here. Same play. Boom. Their separation made off the punch. He recovers with his explosiveness and his acceleration and his jumping ability. Look at that. That's all you can ask for from any 
uh, defensive back. And at the end of the day, if you have players like this on your team and you're playing them out of position consistently, it speaks to, you know, your coaching staff. Here you'll see against Atlanta, against Alfred, Alfred's too small against against Funches, so he doesn't want to come up and 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 jam. And then this safety here uh, with the Chargers, he's 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 big enough, but he just doesn't have the technique. So Funches runs right by him, and he knows it. He knows he doesn't have the technique, right? But guys like Sherman uh, Jones, they frustrate big receivers. Look at Sherman. Sherman shows you how it's done here. He comes underneath, and again, you'll see, you'll notice, he puts two hands on that ball. He doesn't just hit it like Jones does, and that's what Jones needs to work on so he can make more plays. But look at that face. That's the face of frustration there. Uh, Funches just doesn't know what to do against guys who know how to stay up in your chest. This is uh, Jones against Matthews a year ago. Boom. There you go. There was a punch. You, you'll see the punch here. You couldn't see it on that play, on that on that view, but you'll see the punch in a, in a second. There's a punch that creates separation here. Boom. So the separation is there. The punch, the separation, but the recovery is key. He recovers right through it like that, like it didn't even happen. So he creates the separation. But if he if the, if that separation starts becoming a situation where if you know you can recover the way he does, if he starts going for those balls with two hands like he did here. Uh, he'll he'll have a lot more interceptions because you know he he looks like he's he's beaten coverage in a lot of cases, but he's not, he very rarely is, especially against tight ends. They hit him in his chest and he just can accelerate right through it. I don't know how he does it, but he does. This is this is a key play. This this play here is the last play I'll show, but it, it shows you that he's not a safety. A safety goes for a kill hit here instead of a hit. He has strong hands, so he knocks the ball out, which is great, but he punches the ball out. That's not what you usually see in a safety, you know.